Hello you guys, my name is Tandy and in this video I am going to be showing you how I achieve this full face of Dior makeup while having a sip. Now let's get into it. <laughs> To start off, I'm using the Capture Youth Glow Booster. Now you guys know I am a big advocate for skincare underneath the makeup, okay? And this Glow Booster has vitamin C in it, so not only is it good underneath the makeup and will make my makeup look smooth, but it's also going to help with any kind of uneven skin tone issues you may have. Um, my skin has been acting pretty normal lately, so thankful for me, I'm just taking extra precautions with this step. To start off with the makeup portion, I'm going to be using two different concealers. Well, they're two different colors, but they're part of the same line. So these are the Fix It concealers. Dior actually uses these backstage. And you guys, I personally really like these concealers. They're really quick, easy on the go. These concealers also blend really, really well into the skin. Sometimes I go a little bit ham, okay? I go a little bit ham with the concealer. As you can see my face right here, like, girl, what is you doing? Why you got all that concealer on your face? It's okay, baby, because we gonna blend it out anyway. I'm just gonna use a damp sponge and blend it out. And with that same damp sponge, I'm going to add a little bit of more coverage to my skin and use the Dream Skin Cushion. The gag is, this is a skin skincare product it's not even a foundation this is giving you all of the benefits of skincare including SPF of 50 while also giving you slight coverage I use two different shades because I do have just a slight tan right now I know you can't really tell but I got a slight tan so I got to mix two different shades just to get you know a little bit more color a little bit more true to color as you can see it does look a lot better when I add that extra shade in now to set my concealer and under eye I use the forever control matte powder i don't know it's listed on the screen y'all see what it is this stuff let me tell you if you got oily skin honey this is gonna be your best friend you guys know i'm really big on bronzer so for bronzer i'm going to use their mineral nude bronzer this stuff is so light and like airy it literally looks like you have nothing on your skin so you have to really like apply it in multiple layers i will say that about this bronzer but honestly the bronzer like the finish is so beautiful so i put that literally all over my face nose included i'm in the studio and it be lit this was actually filmed on a friday and on fridays we drink hence the booze okay drink responsibly kids all right i'm gonna move on to my eyes period okay i'm using this five color eyeshadow palette i actually got this um at a workshop with dior now i'm actually using two different palettes on my eyes the focus isn't so much about how to apply the eyeshadow if you guys want a tutorial on that let me know in a comment down below but what i want to say about the dior eyeshadows is that they are very easy to blend out one thing i will say is that i wish the palettes came with some kind of transition shade i really don't like the fact that you have to use multiple palettes in order to complete a look i personally don't like a shimmer shade in my crease first of all can we talk about this yellow shade though like wow talk about pigment okay dior did that honey dior either makes palettes with all mattes or all shimmers there's like no mix or in between it's weird um i personally don't like that about their palettes let me know what you guys prefer down in the comments and i forgot to mention that i did use the dior brow styler to do my brows off camera um, all of the products that i'm using in this video will be listed down below in the description box this eye look wasn't that extravagant you know when you're dealing with luxury beauty their brand their aesthetic i should say isn't like that over the top kind of instagram look so this is definitely going to be very easy simple in my opinion simple eye with a bold lash now for lashes <laughs> i had to step on a few necks okay i'm stepping on several necks and making several points with these baddie b lashes in hashtag extra i believe and once my lashes are set in place i go in with a little bit of highlight and for this highlight i'm using more of a pinky shade highlighter this is their nude nude luminizer well that's a tongue twister <laughs> but i do like this highlighter i don't know the dior highlighters they just hit different okay dior makes some of the best luxury beauty highlighters period they literally feel like butter on your skin they're so good and i love that they come in a wide variety of shades as well 
And speaking of shades, okay, I'm going to take my favorite shade of Dior lip liner, which is Provocative Brown. You guys, this is the perfect warm tone brown lip liner. I absolutely love the formula of the Dior lip liners because they are creamy and they're not like drying on the lips. So they feel super comfortable and they literally last all day. What else could you ask for? And I just line that all over my lips and then I top it with a little bit of lip maximizer Now I be seeing people use these lip maximizers as glosses But I'm gonna let you know because I used to work with Dior, okay? They're not lip glosses. They're literally meant just to pump up the lips. I Thankfully have all of this melanin radiating through my skin. So I'm good on the lip plumping department, but I do love this color. This is the shade 002 nine i believe it has a nice pink pearl um holograph to it i think it just looks so cute and i thought it would tie together with my highlighter really well and overall i love how this look came out thank you guys so much for watching if you found this video helpful in any way go ahead and leave a thumbs up but don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified of my future uploads cheers